Hi, I'm your host Nigel Henshaw and welcome to Real World Projects with Flutter by Pact Publishing. If you have not guessed it, I have a Kiwi accent. I'm from New Zealand, but have been fortunate to live and work in different countries thanks to the software industry. I've been in the software industry for over 20 years, working on mobile device platforms the whole time. I've held roles from developer, consultant, project manager, but have recently discovered my passion is sharing knowledge that I have learned. Flutter has been taking the industry by storm and with good reason too. Being able to develop Android and iOS applications using a single code base is extremely attractive to developers and companies alike. I will be taking you with me for each application, starting with the mock-up presentations to the final apps running on Android and iOS. This course will consist of six real-world projects demonstrating the creation of Android and iOS apps with Flutter using the Dart programming language. We'll learn how to create a weather app which gets the current weather from your location. The weather details will be provided by the Open Weather Maps APIs with the location coordinates provided by the location package. Then we'll create a Coffee Finder app which retrieves a list of local coffee shops and displays the shops on a Google map using map markers with the help of Google Maps web surface package. When selecting a marker, a card will be displayed with the shop details and route directions. Then we'll create a coffee store app which provides a list of drinks from a coffee shop. And auto scrolling carousal will display the different drink types from where the drinks can be selected and an order placed. Then we'll create a payments app and pay for the drinks using a QR code scanner. This application features two parts. To create the QR code using the QR Flutter package and capturing and decoding the QR code using the Firebase ML kit. Then we'll create a selfie app which captures and shares images to social media. The camera plugin will be used to capture the image, which will be displayed into a thumbnail image gallery. Upon selecting the thumbnail, a full screen image will be displayed with an option to share to social media. And finally, we'll create chat app to securely send messages and images to friends. The Google sign-in package will be used to implement a login screen. Firebase, Firestore and Storage will be used to store the messages and images. It is recommended that you have done some basic Flutter app tutorials before this, but we will be creating the projects from scratch so you will be able to follow the code from start to end. You will need to download and install the Flutter SDK. And if you're developing for iOS apps, you will need to install the Xcode and set up the iOS simulator. Android Studio will need to be downloaded and installed. And you will need to create an Android emulator using the Android Virtual Device Manager. And for editors, you can select between Android Studio, IntelliJ, or the Visual Studio Code Editor. And you will need to ensure that you've got the Flutter and Dart plugins installed. On completion of this course, you will be comfortable with installing and setting up Flutter plugins, passing state changes between children widgets, communicating with remote services, implementing architectural design patterns, running unit, widget, and integration tests and preparing releases for the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Thank you for taking the time to start this course. I had fun creating it and I hope you enjoy it. Now come along and join me in creating the first application.